Uh, hello everyone, back to the layout. Um, today's focus was to start working on the Morrison Door Factory. So, I last video I painted the sidewalk. Um, I can always touch up the sidewalk more because I can get in there and do whatever I need to do. Um, but I did need to fill out the groundwork. I'm leaving a hole right there. Wiring goes through that and probably end up putting a utility pole there. But went ahead and did the ballast um, all the way around. The track kind of left a gravelly area back here where the water tower is. I think I still have a little bit of work to do back there. A little bit harder to reach. Need to get some little spoons to help me uh, spread the uh, ground cover and stuff. So that'll look less gravelly. Um, maybe a little bit more grown up. And we've got the little building back there that I set in place. And of course uh, this area over here. Um, put the ground cover on. And got a little bit of gravel at the bottom of the walkway before you go over to the sidewalk. Um, probably going to put a little basketball court right here for the workers. Um, I'll come back to that later and figure it out. But hey, uh, made progress. Uh, every little bit counts, right? So uh, I'll try to keep this short again, but essentially that kind of gives you an idea of what the current base uh, scenery is. At least across the layout. Got a little gravel pull off there to load and unload by Sully's Tavern and Herman's coming over. Got another little gravel pull off um, in order to do loads and unloads there. Uh, we already covered the city streets and things that I put in. Probably going to fill this up with mostly 30s style, 30s to 40s style cars later on and whatnot. And coming over here um, I'm seeing Probably going to be a farmer's market or something um, here between the farm and uh, the city, or the town, I should say. I'm going to wait to put in trees last. There will be trees uh, peppered throughout this, but um, I've got too much stuff I've got to reach over and reach into. Um, I'm okay with these trees being up, and the farm property uh, is still looking good. Um, I will come back and seal some of these. You'll see where the light escapes from underneath. Um, I will put some ground cover in and stuff and make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, what else to cover? I think that's about it. I guess I should say one other thing. Um, I did decide to go ahead and screw down my track, make it a little more firm. Um, the screws that I had used before just, I don't think, were holding into the foam. So I needed to find some larger screws. Um, a little bit difficult to find, you know, but um, did pick some up. Basically, uh, number four um, I found is, or at least from what I saw online, is good for the track. But uh, I needed to get like an inch and a half. So um, that way they went further down into the foam and help hold it a little bit better. So I didn't want to stick glue on the end of the screws and do it that way. And that felt just a little too uncomfortable in terms of where the track was going to be. So again, yeah, um, liking the way it's coming along, um, one section at a time. And the next area I'll probably work on is this outer side. And I'm thinking of putting the grass effect um, starting along this outer loop and then going all the way around the outside of the track and uh, put a grass effect all the way to basically somewhere right in here um, where there will probably be like a little campsite or some hobo village or something back in there and again trees will fill in some of this space. Um, I did have a crazy thought and I'm actually still thinking about it of a tunnel that um, I like the trestles. The trestles do a good job. They hold up the track. Um, you know, they're not the prettiest things in the world, uh, or not, not the most realistic things in the world when you're looking at them, but it doesn't look bad. But along this wall here, or maybe the other wall, I was thinking about uh, putting a tunnel in. Basically just attach it to the wall, mold something up to where it'll go into the concrete wall, and then come down and drape uh, just between the tracks. I think I've got enough room to work with. Maybe barely. I guess if I have to, I could come over here and see. 
Sorry about that pan. Not the same amount of tight room on either space, but, uh, you know, I think it could be done. So, anyway, I uh, probably won't do that. That's maybe biting off a little bit more than I really want to with this uh, particular layout. So, again, quick update. Uh, catch you later.